Once upon a time, there was a CEO of a successful company named Richard. Richard was a shrewd businessman who always put his company's profits first, no matter the cost. One day, in a moment of desperation, he made a deal with the devil to ensure his company's continued success. In exchange for selling his soul, the devil promised Richard unimaginable wealth and success. Richard thought he had made the deal of a lifetime, but as time passed, he realized the devil had no interest in his soul. The devil, it turned out, was much more interested in the company Richard had built. Soon, the devil began asking for shares in the company and health benefits. Richard was taken aback by the devil's audacity but knew he had no choice but to comply. The devil demanded more and more shares until he was the majority owner of the company. Richard had no choice but to obey the devil's every whim or risk losing everything he had built. However, Richard soon began to regret his deal with the devil. He saw the company he had built slip out of his control, and he realized that his soul was the only thing he truly owned. The devil's constant demands for more and more shares and benefits had made Richard a slave to his own creation. Richard decided to take a stand. He refused to give the devil any more shares in the company and instead offered him a different deal. Richard would give the devil a lifetime supply of health benefits and a generous salary in exchange for his shares. The devil, recognizing that Richard had finally learned his lesson, agreed to the new deal. Richard had learned the hard way that nothing was more important than his soul. He had built his company with hard work and dedication, and he wasn't going to let the devil take it away. From that day forward, Richard vowed to always put his own well-being and happiness first and to never make a deal with the devil again. Despite Richard's best efforts, the devil had managed to gain a significant amount of shares in Richard's company before they made their new deal. However, the devil had grown tired of his ownership of the company and sought to rid himself of the responsibility. As fate would have it, the devil found a buyer in the form of the Bounty Paper Towels Company. They had been seeking to diversify their business holdings and saw Richard's company as a valuable acquisition. The devil sold his shares to Bounty Paper Towels, much to Richard's dismay. Richard was horrified that his life's work was now in the hands of a company whose sole purpose was to sell paper towels. Bounty Paper Towels wasted no time in making changes to the company. They fired many of Richard's loyal employees, cut costs wherever possible, and turned the company into a soulless corporate machine. Richard watched helplessly as his company was destroyed, and he felt a deep sense of regret for ever making a deal with the devil. He realized that he had placed too much importance on material success and had lost sight of what was truly important in life. In the end, Richard was left with nothing but regret and the knowledge that he had sold his soul for nothing. The devil had moved on to his next victim, leaving Richard to pick up the pieces of his shattered life. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking the video and subscribe to be notified of freshly baked, frightfully generic stories.